and others convened in Abuja on Monday to discuss the country's economic outlook. Now, during the interactive session with the National Assembly Joint Committee on Finance, the stakeholders expressed optimism that the economy is showing signs of recovery. The Ministers of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Petroleum and the Group Executive Office of NMPCL, Mela Kiari, assured the committee that the economy is on the path to recovery. Uh, this country, as we have said, will be a next exporter of petroleum products by the end of this this year, and we're very optimistic that by December this country will be net exporter. That means combination of production coming from us and also from the Damgote refinery and other smaller uh, producing companies that we know are in line to do this. So I can confirm to you, Mr. Chairman, that by the end of the year, uh, this country will be a net exporter of petroleum product. Now, coming specific to NMPC refinery, as you recall, and we have spoken to a number of your, your committees, that uh, it is impossible to have the Kaduna refinery come to operation before December. It will get to December. Both Wari and Kaduna and, and Port Harcourt will, as you recall, Mr. President, we did mechanical completion. Let me explain this very clearly. We did have mechanical completion of the Port Harcourt refinery, which means that every technical work that is required to get the refinery uh, or to work has been completed. This, and I'm very sure that latest by early August, the Portaco refinery old will start producing product and of course uh, the the new one will get to December and Wari will also be uh, in in production you know very op I'm very optimistic I, I can confirm to you that we have taken every step to make sure that it works thank you right now we have a clear plan to see how we can get you know 2 million barrels and more and I believe that we need the support of all members of you know, of, of the national assembly we need the support of all Nigerians you know to be able to achieve uh, um, that one. You know, we also, you know, revamping the midstream and the downstream. Our fiscals, you know, are today globally competitive because you agree with me that before now, complaint was that uh, investors were not coming in. But investors have started coming in because this government has decided to, you know, uh, make a fiscal condition, a governance, you know, condition or structure. A number of interventions have been approved by Mr. President. The very well known ones were the energy transition in order to deepen CNG penetration, both as an alternative to the more expensive petroleum motor spirit and as an avenue to ensure energy competitiveness so that our industries, our transport sector, our irrigation services can run on cheaper sources of petroleum. The National Assembly is very concerned because we are the representatives of the people and we are obliged to ask what is happening. And this is the reason why such a meeting is very important. And uh, we have heard from them, at least they have given us a preamble of the activities going on, on how our economy can get back to track. The Central Bank of Nigeria Governor, represented by the Deputy Governor of Economic Policy, Sani Abdullahi, expressed optimism that the challenges of rising inflation, foreign exchange, rate fluctuations and food inflation will soon subside, citing emerging indicators.